This episode is brought to you by Bumble. So you want to find someone you're compatible with, specifically someone who's ready for a serious connection, totally open to having kids in the future, is a tall rock climbing Libra, and loves rom-coms with vegan pizzas on Tuesdays just as much as you do. Bumble knows that you know exactly what's right for you. So whatever it is you're looking for, Bumble's features can help you find it. Date now on Bumble. The Bird Show. All right, so we're going to start texting with and for Tara here in a second. Uh, she had a roommate that moved out. Dude is gone now, and she feels like now is the time to confess to the guy. I've had a crush on you for a long time. What's our help? Hey, Tara. Hi, guys. Thanks for taking my call. You are welcome. This one feels like no risk. If I have the facts right, no problem whatsoever, because even if we get rejected... He's not around the corner anymore. He's gone. That's true. I actually didn't think about it like that, but I'm really hoping it's not that because I like him so much. All right, so... I I don't know the first thing about you. We've only spoken to you for like 15 seconds, but I already adore you. Oh, thank you. (laughs) I want this to work really bad. You want this to work for her, for you? For all of us. Okay. (laughs) We need this. All right. So give us the history of you and the former roommate. Okay, yes. So his name is Thomas, and he literally just moved out like a week ago or something, and he's staying at his parents because he wants to move to New York City. So I obviously want to tell him how I feel um, before he moves because after he moves, it's like almost like, you know, what's the point? Um, So I have felt this way, like, honestly, shortly after we started living together, but I just had to, like, keep it on the down low literally the whole time. And then after he moved out, I'm just like, I really want to him to know so okay you know that first thing i said um about this being um like no risk i'm I'm gonna go ahead and take that back okay okay (laughs) so dude's already he's like he's like on his way to new york right so he's living with the parents right now he's taking off he's going to new york so let's play this out we help you text the dude you say oh my god i've had these feelings for you for so long my parts are tingling and (laughs) don't say it like that please don't (laughs) so what are you expecting what are you expecting him to do with that? I mean, he's already leaving for New York. He's, I'm assuming he's got a job lined up and an apartment lined up. Like, what's your best case scenario here? Okay, you guys might think I'm crazy, but honestly, like, I want to see if we can start something here, like, quickly before he goes. And then maybe not necessarily get into a relationship, but, like, sort of see what it's like to get to know each other in that way and I can visit him he can visit me like if we both have feelings and I feel like anything is possible do we know when he's leaving when's he leaving he leaves at the end of the month okay so All right. Whew. All right. as, as we're recording this it's the 18th okay. we got four hours here we go <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. It could have so, been worse. You could have said this weekend. That's true. Look, let's play this out. Okay, this could end up okay. All right, I have to make a confession or something before you take off. I had feelings for you. I'll always have regrets if I don't say something now. And then he takes it from there. Take that information uh, for what you will. Yeah. All right. Uh, no. Sure, sure, shot. Okay, okay. What? <laughs> so you're hoping like, um, he's like, oh my God, I've had feelings for you too. I d- have hid them. Yes, let's definitely link up before I take off and then take it from there type thing. Honestly, yeah, that would be really ideal. <laughs> All right, Mom, what else? Was there any kind of flirting between y'all or is this going to come completely out of left field for him? So, of course, like I really tried to steer clear from being too obvious because we lived together and I was like, I do not want the situation where like we hook up and then it's awkward like and I have feelings and he doesn't. So... Um, but like there were so many times I just felt the vibes and I was like, he has to be like at least noticing like the vibes are there. But again, like 
No offense, but sometimes guys can just be like kind of like not aware. <laughs> yeah, Mo, Mo and I have said this before that until a girl was literally kissing us with a tongue in my mouth, with the tongue in the mouth, yeah, that's when we realized like she might be into me a little bit. <laughs> you might but I, 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 this might be a miscommunication, also. <laughs> yes. I'm jumping ahead a little bit here, um, but I do need to know. If something develops between the two of you, are you willing to move to New York? What? What? What's mm-hmm. the point? Yep. What? Literally, what is the point of starting with something with somebody who is moving out of state? If you're not, if it goes long term, you have to be willing to move. Are you willing to do that? Okay. Well, <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm gonna sound crazy, but I feel like I would be. Like I would be down for the adventure and. I don't know. It sounds really romantic, honestly. Yeah, it's not crazy. That's destiny. It's love. You think so? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Is it happening to Bart and I? Well, I mean, no. <laughs> 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 it wasn't the same situation okay. at okay. all. Okay, okay, okay. So, <laughs> we weren't roommates. Right. I didn't catch feels for him right. and make a move. We started dating. Yep. And then I moved right. and it was like, nothing's going to happen. But then a couple months later, he moved to be with me. Okay. So people, what I'm saying is people, okay, so no, it's nothing similar. It's but similar. There's a possibility that they could make it work. Sure. It, they can make it work. Okay. He just has to reciprocate said feelings. Look, maybe he's got the same kind of burning desire and didn't want to mess up the burn. whole... Huh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if it burns, call your doctor. Yeah. <laughs> He'll get a test for it. Okay. Like, maybe, you know, he's been feeling the same thing and he didn't yeah. want to make it uncomfortable, so maybe everything's all lined up right. All right, so, uh, Tara, let's do this. Hang out for a couple of seconds when we come oh, back. Tara and Thomas. That's just cute. That's just two T's. It, don't. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 no, it's, it's beautiful. It's, it's sounds it, it so is. cute together. It's got a nice ring to it. I am picturing the wedding monogram right, right now. Yeah. Are we like, marrying them? Yeah, Mo, okay. Someone is on the edge and teetering. Okay, I, I see that. Play along. I think I'm done. <laughs> All right, Tara, hang with us for just one second. When we come back, we'll start texting Tudor uh, for you. Okay. Perfect. Uh, okay. The Bird Show.